Fukushima. Yeah. And, you know, Fred Brooks' essay from, I don't know when it was, 86, 87, right? Software engineering, no silver bullet, right? That so I don't know. What is, what is this essay? You don't know it? It's called No know. Silver Bullet, Essence and Accident in Software Engineering. Okay. You should have said yes, because now we have to get rid of you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That was it. It's really cool. So it's it's this idea, it's this idea of accidental versus essential complexity. Um, so accidental complexity relates to problems that engineers create, right? But they're also ones that they can fix, right? Yeah. Bug fixing, premature optimization, mm -hmm. using the wrong frameworks, over designing stuff, etc. And essential complexity is inherent or caused by the problem you're trying to solve. Yeah, and, and nothing can remove it, right? It's it's just the design space that that you're in. Um, and I just wondered what you thought our our ratios were, uh, either in crypto or or in OMG, right? Oh my god! Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel like this would be interesting for Connie to be here. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, for sure. Because there's so there's so much in in the mechanics, like the the essential complexity of the mechanics of child chain operators and watcher networks and consensus yeah. and soft and hard forks and rollbacks. And then we we build, you know, just typey typey, we make the software which could be full of all the accidental stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I I uh, yeah. So so one thing that I worry about all the time and 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 Vansa can attest to this from like day one, that there's a line I draw that if we cross that line, we've gone from essential complexity to accidental complexity. Like, like if we somehow lose the core characteristic of non-custodiality or not our trustlessness in the system, we've just built a terrible centralized system. Um, so, so it's it's kind of a fine line for us. Um, and and there's always these pressures. I feel like there's always these pressures um, that that kind of push us in that direction. It pushes up right right, right up to that edge. Um, the the core. Mm -hmm system is very complex um it's it's probably one of the most complex systems i've i've, I've sort of worked on in, in my career um even even compared to stuff at scale and and part of that is just because of the nature and the way the software is deployed and also um who the who the actors are which which is is related in the in in the way the, the software is deployed so so i mean like the one thing i like to say i like to tell people these days is like we deploy a single system that has three kinds of software deployment, right? So, so, so it all hangs together. But one of them is is like your standard web service. It looks like you know a service that you would have. The second, the second piece is what looks like box software. So, so the web service is our child chain. Um, the second piece looks like box software. It's something that we want to encourage other people to run. It has to be version. Mm -hmm. It has to be compatible with whatever's, whatever's running against the the, the service. Um, uh, we need to do all the processes around that to, to like help and enable people to run that. And then finally, we have this crazy new thing, which which I usually make a comparison to launching a rocket in this space. And so so mm -hmm. that that piece is the smart contracts, right? So that that holds the protocol and all those things. Um, and that whole thing just kind of hangs together. And every time we have like a version, all of it has to be deployed together. I mean, the smart contracts don't get deployed at that time, but the other two pieces sort of like go hand in hand, but somehow that whole system, that's like one version of the system, you know? Um, and so that already is like, how do you even design a release process for that? That's that's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, the complexity of the system is, I think there's there's a significant amount of inherent complexity in the system and, and, and we're trying to solve a pretty hard problem. Um, I think not just us, but also the blockchain space and, and, and Ethereum as a whole. Um, for us to try to like look at this, we run into this this you know the the whole scaling diet like trilemma all the time, um, and so all the pressures move things around. But, but the thing that I fear the most in that is that like at some point we cross a line, it becomes um, somehow less trustless, or, or we get to a place where when you look at it again from another angle. This is the worst way to build the system, and and it's, it, I think it's easy for us to sort of like, like walk over that line. 